Hey guys, this is Metal Stash again. Here talking about uh, my RTS project again. Um, this time I want to go over how I accomplished my selection uh, action for choosing each unit and how I went about doing that. This is the same map as I went over last time uh, using the free version as you guys know and using JavaScript. So right now in the level I have three different objects that I've created. I uh, three over here. Um one that is the most basic unit that I've created or object is the selectable object. It is um able to be selected as the name kind of implies, selectable. Um as I said before the unit object is child under the selectable object so it acts the same as it does so as does the building so if I played this right now you have basic controls of the camera with W A S N D and if I highlight the selectable object in the map and I select on it you have over here from the code itself it is very useful from unity that if you declare a variable globally uh, as the selectable bo boolean variable is here it is actually displayed over here in the script component so that you can debug or change a, a, a custom aspect of that object for each iteration of it so if I select away the uh, selected variable is unclicked as it turns to false. If you click on it, it turns true. Now, how I accomplish this uh, selection texture on the bottom, as you can see, it happens on each of them. is different for some of them because I've changed the texture of the unit uh, plane that it uses. So, get out of this. Each uh, selectable object has a plane, so it does a unit and a building. That plane is child of it, so the way you can get to it is by using. Most objects have a transform, so if you use transform dot find, usually a universal thing, and I probably should name it something else other than plane, but I haven't gotten around to doing that and if you do uh, dot get mesh r component or dot get component uh, you can get the mesh renderer and if it's enabled uh, then you, s or you set its enabled state to true that makes it where normally its mesh renderer is turned off so that you don't see it now I can change it in the prefab which changes it over all the iterations of selectable but you normally don't want a uh, unit or object to be selected initially unless you want that but then I can go into here and set that so it doesn't set it for every single one but the way I, s I am able to select a uh, unit is through my player controller I have my simple WASD controls for moving around by a certain speed and then I have a uh, mouse event where if it is pressed down on the initial down it casts a ray from the mouse position outward and uh, I have some other stuff set here where I had test for it if it casts it on the ground mask. You can set that where this bottom plane is set to a layer called ground to figure out what numbers you need to use to access that layer. You remember that 8 as the ground layer, user layer that you created. You then do a bit uh, shift eight over from one to access that layer so that the click is only k 
casting itself from the camera to the ground so that it doesn't uh, give you a position like say on a unit so it's always giving you a position on the ground and then that is my selection start I use that later for a multiple selection that I have been able to get working but I'm not gonna go over quite yet now if I cast a ray and it lands on a unit I want to clear my my uh, current selected units and I do that by I've created my own function and uh, it clears my selected units and sets their selected state to false and to set that it's actually very easy to do um, scripts already have a kind of static um, uh, level over variables so you can just say dot selected and it accesses the selected variable in the selectable component of your selected units might not be the best way but that is the way I found to do it um, when it finds a unit it sets its state to true and then adds its collider to my selected units and if it finds nothing that means it's empty space it just clears my selected units and I do some other stuff with it but that, I'm, that is a little bit later for more complicated stuff but that is um, the basics of my selection process you just click away and it does it so if you guys like this video like it if you want to comment on it if you have another way if you have any questions uh, please comment uh, that's about it so thanks you guys for watching and see you next time